Hey, what's up guys? If you are like many people out there, you might have faced the frustrating situation of being asked for your phone number when trying to create a new Gmail account. Maybe you value your privacy and don't want to share your personal information, or maybe you simply don't have access to a phone at the moment. Well, I've got some good news for you. In this video, I will teach you how to create Gmail account without phone number in 2024, which is new and great. That's right, no need to provide your phone number and no shady workarounds or hacks that could potentially put your account at risk. So with this information, let's dive right in. Hello and welcome back guys. In the first step to use this method, you need that your Windows is based on 64 bits and your motherboard has WT capability. To know that, we need a program which name is CPUV. So you can find this program on my Telegram channel or open up the browser and go to this URL lowmoon.com. Now go to download tab, desktop apps, scroll down and go to next page again scroll down and here you can see Leo Moon CPU V so click on it here you can see download button just click on it and start to download the app after you downloaded the program and open it you will see this page here you can see my CPU architecture and my OS architecture which are uh, 64 bits and as you can see the important section is here guys WT supported which means virtual technology here you have three modes and I will tell you one by one the first mode is that your system does not support WT and this feature is not turned on on your system and here you can see in the picture. The second mode is that your system support VT and this feature, but it's not turned on in your system. And finally, the third and last mode is that your system support VT and this feature is on in your system. And everything is ready to use this method and our main program. So if your PC support VT technology, and you are on second or third mode, let's go to the next step. In this step, as I told you, you should go to my Telegram channel and get the main program link and information. After that, we will install it with each other. So run an installation as a administration and here you can change your uh, program address. And after that, just click on install now. And wait. So, open the program after the installation is complete. So after open the program and see this message, it means the VT it's not turned on on your system. And you didn't do that. So it's time to teach you how to turn on VT on your system or virtualization technology. So restart your computer and press the F2 or delete key repeatedly as soon as your computer shut down. Guys, if you don't know how to go to your BIOS page or what is your BIOS page button, you can search on the Google and you can find it. And here you can see the some of the device uh, BIOS page key. After restart your system and see the black screen repeatedly, press your uh, BIOS key. For example, my motherboard is ASUS and I repeatedly press delete button to see my BIOS page. After you went to your BIOS page, try to find the VT item which is usually named Intel Virtualization Technology Virtualization Virtual VT-X or SVM. In general, you can find your VT option uh, most of the time on your advanced page of your BIOS page, processor configuration or security tab. 
now let me uh, show you on my BIOS page as you can see here I will go to advanced mode and here try to find a VT actually word I don't actually find it here so again I click on advanced tab as you can see check on advanced tab and here as you can see guys I have a CPU configuration just click on it or choose it with your arrow and here try to find a virtualization word or virtual or VT or SVM and here guys as you can see I found that inter virtualization technology as I said to you so as you can see here it's disabled here so I just click on it and enable it after you have enabled your uh, VT option uh, please uh, go and uh, save your changes and don't forget that it's so important just click on yes and your system will be restart soon so be patient guys and wait actually guys don't have afraid after you save your changes your system will be shut down and suddenly go up and rises so don't have afraid now after your windows is up we enter to the next step again actually guys I will check my uh, CPU V and here as you can see everything is ready uh, I have a VT supported and VT enabled as you can see I have these two parameters and both of them are on so it's time to go to the main program and start to creating Apple ID now we will open up our main program and before starting that please guys don't forget that to turn on your internet connection and turn on your VPN it's so important you can find this VPN on my YouTube channel and I actually made a video about that you can go to that video and learn how to download it and use it it's a great VPN guys after the VPN is connected uh, Open up the Edly player. Wait until the program is fully loaded and up. Now on the main menu, uh, you will see system apps. Just click on the folder and open up the settings. On the settings menu, go to downside and click on accounts. And here, just click on add accounts. And wait now click on uh, create account yes and for my personal use here type your first name and your last name click on next and type your birth date and your gender it's simple guys click on next and here guys as you can see uh, you have two options either choose from the usernames offered by Google or enter your own username although I will use actually this one so I will type my username as you can see and just click on next now type your password with a mix of letters numbers and symbols click on next well as you can see there is no phone number verification page so just click on next and we will go to for next step and here just you can see for privacy and terms just uh, click on agree and confirm your actually personalization so wait a second and actually you will get in account information Google services and here we are actually I always actually guys uh, turn off this button just uh, click on accept and your 
Gmail account is ready guys without any phone number verification. That's great. Guys, if you want to create another account, just tap on your account and remove account here and uh, go for creating multiple accounts. Guys, there is a so important point here for uh, friends who want to uh, creating multiple accounts. Go to settings here and for each account, uh, change your uh, actually device name, I mean manufacturer, model, and IME number. And as you, uh, as you can see, uh, change your device for each account. So you have uh, many options to change your actually device type. As you can see, and last option is IMEI, and you can just click on random and change your IMEI. And finally, save changes. For those who want to create more accounts, they must follow these tips. Otherwise, they will see the phone number verification page again. Change your IP address for each account. Change or spoof your MAC address for each account. Change your device type as I told you before. Here is nothing left to say my friends. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech reviews and recommendations. As always, thank you for watching and we will see you in the next one.